Hello there my lovelies, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a feminine makeup look that is soft and sultry at the same time. So I was just showing you guys that I already went in with my D Bronzy by Drunk Elephant Drops. And I am going in with my Diffy Brows Soap Brow Gel and putting that into my eyebrows. For those soapy model looking brows. After those are done I'm going to go in with my NYX Lift and Snatch brow pen and the trick with this you guys is to go very lightly. Of course I messed up on the very first one so it's okay just dab it away and try again. So nice light strokes to make it look as realistic as possible. I went ahead with my second eyebrow and I'm now going in with the eyes. This time we're keeping it nice and simple and we're just doing a basic line as close to the lash line as possible and making it just a teeny bit wider and thicker on the outer corner of your eye. I'm just barely extending it and with my Anastasia brush, my angled brush, I'm going to be pulling that to the outer corner and then dragging it towards the center of my eyelid, still trying to keep it close to the lash line. And this is just going to create that smoky, you know, smoky but not too smoky, like a smoky but structured line on your eyelid. After this I'm going in with that same whiskey color by Urban Decay and lining my lash line, my lower lash line and then my upper lash line as well just to give my eyes some depth and make my green eye color pop. I went ahead and did that on my other eye and I'm now putting that same whiskey shade onto my angled brush and strategically placing that on my inner corner and I'm following the line that I naturally have. If you look at your eyelid you should have a little bit of a natural line to follow and if you don't then I would always recommend following the way your bottom waterline is angled. After those eyes are done, I'm going to be going in with my Glossier Cloud Paint. I forgot the color, the name of this color, but it's a deep rose shade. I'm putting some on my nose just to give myself that little sun-kissed look, you know, make my look a little bit more innocent than uh, what it would have been had I not done that. Just to add in a little bit more of that feminine aspect to it and not diva aspect. After patting that into my skin, I'm going to be going in with my NARS bronzer and very very lightly going where the sun would usually hit, so the cheekbones and the forehead. Something that is important to remember is to really drag that up to your ear so that there is no random paler spot right next to the ear. Following up with my Makeup Forever contour, I'm going to be squishing that same brush I was using earlier and making it a little bit flatter in order to contour. 
a specific point in my cheekbone. You'll see I'm also blending that up towards my ear because I don't want any harsh lines or any random spots of paleness. So first I like to draw my line out and then once I've drawn my line out you will see me buffing it upwards towards the tops of my cheeks. The reason I don't go the other way is, well, you don't want to be dragging your contour down but lifting it up. Really lightly on my forehead, I'm going in. I decided to apply a little bit more of my blush just to blend the contour and the blush together a little bit better as I thought there was a bit too much of a drastic difference between the two. So just going on top again with a little bit of that. Going back to the eyes after I've done my blush, I'm going to be applying some concealer. And I'm very light with my concealer. As you can tell, I am rubbing all the excess concealer off and slightly dabbing underneath my eye. And that's all you need anymore and it could just look cakey especially if you're not wearing foundation like I am <laughs> going in with my beauty blender I am going to be lightly and very lightly this is key dabbing that under my eye I've noticed that the lighter hand that you have the less of the crease marks it may leave behind so finally touching that up with my Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter. I'll be setting that right after to prevent any kind of creasing or smudging. As a final step for my eyes, I will be applying my favorite mascara, which is the Essence Lash Princess and it is the watercolor. Unfortunately, like I said before in my videos, did I just say watercolor? I'm in waterproof, you guys, waterproof mascara. Unfortunately, it's only waterproof mascaras that work on my eyelashes, otherwise everything just weighs them down, but that's what it's looking like. As a final touch, I decided, you know, might as well add a little pop of highlight right on my nose and my cheekbones. And I love this highlight specifically because it looks very natural and blends into the skin. Last but not least, we have the lips, which as you can see, I will be going with a nude shade lip liner over filling my lips just a tiny bit on the top center and the bottom center going in with my Marc Jacobs J'adore which is actually the lipstick that Emily uh, what is her name Ratajowski is known to use and slightly dabbing that on my lips for more of a flush color. And there you have it. Okay, so hello guys. This is the final look after I've curled my hair. Let me know if you guys want a video tutorial on how I curl my hair this way. Um, this really reminds me of, you know, old Miley Cyrus, the glamorous long waves. If you can't tell, that's actually kind of what my whole look is all about. Not too much, but also not too little. And I wanted to show you guys my before with this top on that I have. It's a very, very nice top. Let me actually zoom out so you guys can see it. So this top is a normal mesh top. Let me actually go on the couch because I'm that dedicated for you guys. Woo. Normal mesh top, okay? Um, however, and it does have like some 
lining here. It's a little bit of a corset style. Let me get closer. Uh, these jeans, by the way, are from Fashion Nova, in case anybody was wondering. Okay, so this is what the top looks like without anything underneath, and I personally don't like having too many straps showing. You know, just to have it nice, strapless. So I usually don't go with a bra, as there is enough um, material to make sure that nothing is see-through however I don't like how honestly how bland it's looking now. so I was going to show you guys with Boomba their inserts what this is going to look like this is what they look like it's still nice and packaged on the other side they have the boost it's like a push-up essentially so I'm going to go behind the scenes put those on and show you guys what it looks like Okay, you guys, hello. I am back with my Boomba inserts, and this is what the shirt is looking like. So you could tell that there is definitely much more going on up here. Doesn't look so bland. So this is what it's looking like. And that is going to be the look for today. If any of you are interested, I am going to be linking down my discount code below so that you can go ahead and purchase your own set. With all of that being said, you guys, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed what you have seen today, please hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Any questions, let me know. I am here for you guys. And I just wanna be, you know, taking you on my adventures with me and giving you my tips and tricks along the way. Bye guys.